On the pond, Niner Heavy, Adis is Alpha. Hello everyone, my name is Siddhartha and in today's video I will be talking about the flaring technique in an Airbus A320. The landing phase is very demanding and it requires good coordination between the flight crew. DFCOM procedure and FCTM provide the recommended techniques that must be carefully followed to ensure a safe landing. Recipe for a safe landing Be stabilized. A safe flare can only be achieved when the aircraft is stabilized, meaning that all of the flight parameters area is expected, including the aircraft is on its expected final flight path, speed is close to V approach, and wings are level. If the aircraft reaches the flare height at the correct speed and it is on the expected flight path, then a normal flare technique will lead to a safe landing. Pilot monitoring must call out any flight parameter deviation. Careful monitoring of the flight parameters including speed, pitch, bank and vertical speed. Enables the pilot monitoring to raise the attention of the pilot flying to any deviation during the final approach. This will enable the pilot flying to respond accordingly and initiate a go-around, if required. Flare at the right time. Flare should be initiated at around 30 feet RA in stabilized conditions. Factors that may require an earlier initiation of the flare. Steeper approach slope, increasing runway slope or rising terrain before the runway threshold, tailwind, high airport elevation. Retard The 20 feet retard auto callout is a reminder, not an order. The pilot flying can retard the thrust levers earlier or later depending on the conditions. The pilot flying must ensure that the thrust levers are at idle in any case, by touchdown at the latest, to enable automatic extension of the ground spoilers. Delaying the retard of the thrust levers may increase the landing distance because the auto thrust will target the approach or the selected speed until it is disconnected by moving the levers to the idle detent. 50, 40, 30, retard, 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 retard. Flare correctly. The pilot flying should apply a progressive and gentle back stick order until touchdown. The pilot flying must avoid forward stick inputs once flare is initiated. The pilot flying can gradually release the back stick input if needed. The pilot flying must perform a go-around, if a normal touchdown point cannot be reached. Any forward stick input after flare is initiated will increase the risk of landing on nose landing gear with hard impact. Maintain the aircraft pitch in the case of a bounce. The FCTM recommends to maintain the pitch attitude in the case of a light bounce at landing. The aircraft will make a second lighter touchdown and the landing roll can continue. The FCTM recommends to maintain the pitch attitude and initiate a go-around in the case of a high bounce, maintaining the pitch attitude, and counteracting any pitch-up tendency due to the thrust increase. Enables the flight crew to avoid a tail strike and ensure a softer secondary touchdown should this occur. Now, let's perform it on the aircraft. 100 above. 200 Minimum Fifty Forty Thirty Twenty Retard Retard Minimum fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, retard, retard. Thank you for watching. Remember, a good pilot is always learning. Signing off. Los Angeles International, fly runway heading, Kennedy 1.5 BME, right turn 100, and at file, climb 5000, expect 30010, miss after, spot 3343.
United 703, A, this is Alpha, contact ground when you're ready to attack. Thank you very much, United 703.